Well, Domi, welcome to Rome. What is it about this tournament and this city that the players love to come back to? Yeah, I, you know, it's just a, just a city. You know, I love this uh, European cities. It's the, I feel a, a, like home, you know, and, and uh, I haven't been here for two years. So, um, so it's nice to see, you know, the, the courts and, and, the, and the whole venue just, uh, just get so much nicer. So I'm just really, really happy to be here. And reflecting back to Madrid, perhaps a shock exit against Ocean Dodan. How do you reflect on that now in terms of what areas do you feel that you were lacking in, in that tournament? Yeah, it was, you know, I, um, I just started to practice really, really um, properly to one or two days before, before my first match in Madrid. So I was really, really happy to, to beat uh, to beat Jankovic in, in such a tough match. And then, um, and then it wasn't, wasn't, was an easy one against uh, Dodan. She was playing really, really well. She was playing really aggressive. So, and I couldn't, couldn't find my way to, to beat her that day. So, um, Finally, now I had uh, one one week of, of practicing on clay. So you know, clay is really different, different surface. You have to get used to. You need to get your tactics and strategies here. It's different than on a, on a on hard court. So hopefully, this week is going to be a better one for me. And where you said you were practicing on the clay, were you practicing in Madrid? Were you playing here? What are the different conditions in terms of the clay courts here? Yeah, in the, the Madrid, the ball was flying uh, much much more easy, going going through the air. And here, it's just uh, sticking to a racket, and and then the clay is a little bit different. So um, right away, my loss in, in Madrid, we came here. I didn't go home. We came here, and and I we started practicing here. So um, hopefully, it's gonna it's gonna be a, a better one. Obviously, it's the last tournament before the French Open. How important is it to get some good results and performances under your belt before going to France? Yeah, you know, it's um, there's a question, you know, because uh, sometimes it happened that uh, I didn't really do well the tournaments before the Grand Slams, and then I come on Grand Slam and I was playing one of my best tennis, and then I was just uh, some um, the years before it was like okay, I was playing great before some Grand Slams, and then I came to the Grand Slam and I was maybe a little bit over motivated. So it's just you know, it works uh, one way or the other. And hopefully it's going to be, um, I will find my way this year.